Hi, everybody. Hello, everyone. Um, so, you know, when um, you're in your car and you get to a stoplight yeah. and the engine turns off, I yeah. still find that irritating to drive your car and that feature's activated. I think you can probably turn that off. Well, I know I can, but mm. it, it kind of still has a tendency to freak me out a little, I think. It's, it's a gas-saving feature. I know it's a gas-saving feature. Um, but, um, so, I was going to make a comparison between you and I, and maybe, I don't know if this is a generalization, this is between men and, men and women in general, or actually it could be, it could run both ways. Maybe one person has a tendency to be a little bit more uh, revved up than the other, and that's just how it is. Um, but I was thinking that in terms of uh, what your idol looks like and what my idol looks like are two very different things. So when I was making a reference to the, be, to the, to the car, um, the way that the engine switch off, sw switches off to say gas, that's kind of like my idol. <laughs> you so, switch off. So I switch off. So if I am looking to relax, and I'm sitting down in front of the TV or reading a book or whatever I choose to do, I switch the engine off. But your idol um, kind of goes in the other direction. Like, <laughs> What do you mean? So I remember when I had my first car and I had a friend who was quite savvy around the mechanics of it, um, and, and the car was always stern at stalling, we would do something under the hood where we would we would turn the revs up, or I guess he did, I don't got a clue, it all looked like spaghetti to me. But he would get his screwdriver out and turn the revs up so that the car had less chance of stalling. Because I guess you don't want to be in that situation where you're stalled like me, where my idol is shut down. So anyway, so your idol is kind of a little bit revved up. So um, for argument's sake, you wake up in the morning and you're like, you're ready to go, you're all systems go. And I, I, can't even, I can't even fathom what that looks like or feels like. I just, I need my time to sort of just get my re-entry back into, into wakefulness. So I need to have, you know, I need to have my tea. I need to walk <laughs> about a little bit, get the blood going. I can't be having a full on conversation about five different things, which is kind of like what you launch into or would launch into given half the chance. And, um, or you could actually just start the day talking about something really, really gentle and doesn't really need much bandwidth, mental bandwidth, but you have a tendency to, to, uh, to go off the deep end and, and bombard me with questions. It's probably so I've, that's my rant for today. It's probably because I've been awake for, it seems like a long time before you're even ready to have communication. Maybe so, maybe so. But I guess I just, what I'm noticing is that my idol is completely different to your idol. So I could sit down and be watching a TV show. Well, actually, no, when you watch a TV show, you, 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 you can't even, you're, you're fully engaged. If you're, if you're sitting down watching a TV show, you're fully engaged and you can't really be doing anything else. But if I am sitting down watching a TV show independently, if I'm like watching a football game, you'll, quite, you'll come in and quite happily ask me questions. But that's because you don't mind talking during a football game. Oh, it depends what the question is. If it's, if it's something where I have to use my brain, then I don't like it. Oh. That interferes with my, my idle. That means I have to go from idle into gear. Uh, and not even first gear. A lot of those questions mean that I have to go through the full range of gears and get straight up into the fourth gear. Maybe even fifth. I can't cruise control like you do. Cruise control. Yeah, you go into cruise control. You can handle any number of different scenarios. You're a great multitasker. And that's just not my forte. I'm like a one thing at a time kind of guy. And when I'm in idle, I like to be in idle. <laughs> What's your point? Well, the point is, I think that that, that, is a, that can be a difficulty in relationship. I think it's, you know, it's, it's something that I've come to terms with. How do you navigate it? What's think, helpful about this? I think that you just have to, you just have to stay in idle. I have to stay, sorry, I have to stay in my version of idle and have a boundary around that and be polite about how I express that boundary, communicate that boundary with you in a way that's loving and is um, thoughtful and is in a, coming from a place of balance. 
uh, rather than a place of irritation. And that's how things, I think, can get out of hand. Not just for us, I'm sure, for other couples too. You know, we, we have our moments where we just want, we need to have our own space and our own time. And, um, and I think that it can be very easy to get into a, a place where we want to we want to preserve that space in, in a way that can be adversarial. Mm. And, and then that can, one thing can lead to another. You can have one moment where you feel like, yeah, look, this is my time, I need my space, I need to relax, and you're interfering with that. And I think that quite often, I think in the past, I've expressed myself from a place of irritation and upset because I feel like you're interfering with my time. Your, your my quiet idol, time. My quiet time. <laughs> Um, but there is a way to do that in a way where I could be, um, you know, I don't have to break rapport. I can, I can be in a, in a loving place. Maybe you could get like a little sign that you put around your neck when you're in idle. Yeah. Or I could have, <laughs> I could a, or I could have a red sweater by the couch, which I could put on. <laughs> or one of those, one of those team sweaters they have when the girls used to play soccer. They had the blue and the red little slips they put on. <laughs> This is like, this is no communication with me now. I'm in my idol. Because I think that I wouldn't know, because you don't look different. I mean, other than the first thing in the morning, I know you don't like to talk then. Yeah. But other than that, I don't really know when you're not wanting to talk or when you are able to talk. Because sometimes you'll be quite happy to chat during a soccer game. Uh, yeah, so maybe I have a different shirt, but there's a non-chatting version. <laughs> <laughs> and there's a... Uh, I'm open for communication, but I only in a, in a sort of half-hearted way because I want to have my focus on the game. Or you could, I guess what you're saying is you could just tell me. I could just tell you. <laughs> that would probably be a lot easier. So I don't have to guess. Yeah. But I think in the past, I've kind of been resentful. I may have felt like, oh, well, I need to, I need to communicate with her now because she needs to, to have some questions answered. And I want to be watching this game. Well, I think also sometimes you try and answer them really quickly and get back to the game. <laughs> and that doesn't go well either. <laughs> or answer, answer them from a part of my brain which is really not a very analytical part of my brain. It's more a sort of like, uh, what, what's the best word that I can put on this answer with the least amount of effort? <laughs> Those are probably the conversations where I, a week later when you've forgotten the appointment yeah, exactly. and I said, Ingus, I told you. Yeah, I have a stockpile of answers that I can... I can default to that really no, don't go into my memory bank. <laughs> it's <laughs> so so, kind of like screensavers. I was just thinking it's your screensaver mode. <laughs> it is. So maybe what you're saying is that you're going to get more um, clear when you're in screensaver yeah, mode. Yeah, I think that would do me a lot of good to get more clear about, you know, this is, this is a time I'm going to take for myself um, and I'll, I, I would like it to be respected. You need your shed. I need my shed. I need to build a shed in the garden and go and sit in it. <laughs> <laughs> your shed or your man cave. Yeah, I don't like the I don't like the sound of man cave. You like shed? I like a shed more. Do I have screensaver mode? No, you don't have a screensaver <laughs> mode at all. <laughs> you're either on or you're off. <laughs> And if you're off and we're watching TV, woe be tired if I say anything. <laughs> well, I like, that's how I like to relax. Or if I'm reading. I know, but if I'm watching a TV show, I like to chat about it. I don't like to no, chat. No, you don't like that. You don't like to chat. Not during a television show. Yeah, but I need to, I need to have, I need to make, I need to, there needs to be some commentary on what's going but on. But how can you watch the show if you're doing commentary the whole time? Well, I guess that's why we have the pause button. Yes, I have to press the pause button all the time. You do. You do. <laughs> and we have a little gate behind us. I don't know if you can see oh, it. Oh, yeah. Because we are right now waiting for a potential... Well, we're waiting to get approved by a rescue to see if we can become the proud owners of a new dog. Yeah, and I haven't taken the labels off in case we fail the test. <laughs> I have to take it back to the pet store. <laughs> so we will keep you posted about that. And what are the, oh, the other news, we have a relationship workshop coming up in Topanga. That's the right. End of April. Yes. We're excited about that. Yes. And um, I'll put the link in the uh, comments section in case you want to check that out. So have a great weekend, everybody. Yeah, take care. Bye. Bye.